Okay, now we're at the double hung window. And I've got a couple different double hung windows set up here. I've got a white window, um, and I've also got a wood stained interior finish window. Uh, both double hung windows, a couple different grill um, or muttons um, choices here to, that we're gonna take a look at today. And um, I just wanted to give, show you um, how these things tilt in, operate, um, and some of the features of the double hung. All of our double hung windows come with a lock. Depending on the size of the window, um, I think anything over 38 inches is going to have two locks. But because of the material that these windows are made out of, we don't need multiple locks. A lot of times you'll see in the vinyl industry, um, I don't really care whose window it is, I'm not gonna call anybody out, but a lot of times that material needs to um, have multiple locks, even on a window this narrow because of the, the, the plastic or vinyl material is not very strong. And if you don't put two locks on there, you end up with quite a bit of sagging because it just can't support the weight of the glass. So a lot of folks like the feature that there's just one lock on there. You look at your old windows, most typically a window that's 36, 38 inches wide is going to have uh, one lock, an old wooden window or, or something like that. So Anderson really has done uh, their best to create and keep the product looking like what was there prior to replacement. So double hung window, what double hung means is that both sashes travel. This is a sash, this is a sash. So I will unlock the, the lock here and I will Lift up, that's sash number one, excuse me, number two, and then this is sash number one. So both sashes travel. So if you want to open that window at night and you're under an overhang and get some air in, you can do that. Um, or if you want to open both at the same time, you can let a little bit in on the, on the top and a little bit in on the bottom. Again, just like the case of window, all of our windows are made to fit the opening. So there's not any, uh, you, we're not bringing a standard size window into your home and trying to make it fit. I mean, we're gonna, our windows are made for your home. For cleaning the window, and this is one of the features that a lot of folks like, and uh, we'll zoom in a little bit on this here, is that um, the sash is tilt in for easy cleaning. So up in our jam liners here, they're really not too noticeable. In fact, a lot of times I'll get a call, we might do an installation in the fall and I'll get a call in the spring. I can't, you know, the customer not, might not remember how to tilt their windows in for cleaning. So, you know, I'll stop over or walk them through it on the phone or do it via video, what have you. So we open the window about six inches and these are called wash assist. These just travel in the jam liner. These stay in here all the time. So we bring these down until that clicks on each side. And what that does is it allows us to tilt that window in. It releases these spring-loaded uh, locks here on the, on the window. Do your cleaning from the inside. You can set this down. The top sash will tilt in as well. Now we want to put these wash assists back up where they were. Typically, people leave them up in the top, out of, out of the way. Out of, and a um, little spring-loaded finger-jointed uh, clips here that allow that top sash to tilt in. Full screen on the outside, which is removable from the inside. So if you have second floor windows, uh, no worries. You'll be able to take that screen out from the inside, and I'll show you that here in a minute. So when we put it back in, we just bring these back in. Put it back into the opening, press down until we hear a click. All of our balance systems are block and tackle balance systems, which allows the window to operate really smoothly and really easily. You know, there's no, um, you know, a lot of the products out there today will have like a spiral balance system or some weird kind of weight in there, or they'll be, they'll run on a, a friction um, jam liner, which typically are plastic and they typically get beat up by the sun. And what happens, you know, in our climate, we're in Wisconsin, we get extreme heat and extreme cold, vinyl expands and contracts. So that's why vinyl isn't a, a really viable solution for window replacement. Um, that's why Anderson came out with the FiberX material. So, same thing on top. Again, I like to, I mean, you can slam these shut if you want, but I like to just kind of guide them in with my fingers. And again, the 
system for that click and your balance is now engaged. Again, this is a white interior window. If we zoom in a little bit closer, what we're seeing on the grids here is a, a grid between the glass. Um, so a lot of times people will go with the, uh, if they're gonna go with a white interior window or maybe a different color interior window, they'll have the, the grid match the color of the window. Very easy to clean. You don't have to take it in and out. Um, and they're, they're becoming very, very popular. Over here, we have another double hung window. Let's go back to the white one quick here for a second. Um, you notice this is our check rail. So this has kind of a bevel to it. You have two choices. It doesn't affect the price or anything like that, but you, you have two choices. You can get the contemporary style, which is this. It's got more of a bevel to it. Or you can go with, uh, like on this window here, the traditional. So while we're looking at this window here, this is our wood, stain, stainable wood interior finished product. So these come to us unfinished and we match your trim and your casing in your home. So if you order a wood interior finished window, it's all going to match. Typically when I go into a home, I see jam, uh, jam extensions. And what a jam extension is, is if you have a six inch wall, typical frames of windows are gonna be four inches. You've gotta make up for that um, wall depth. So we, so you put in a wood jam extension. A lot of the ones that I see that we replace today are, they might have beautiful oak trim like this around the window, and then they've got a pine jam extension, which um, you, you get a very inconsistent stain. Um, you know, the jam extension is, pine is a softer wood. So we at Wanakee Remodeling, Renewal by Anderson, we, we use oak. I mean, there used to be a big price difference, not so much anymore. And we, we want the beauty. I mean, we want everything to be consistent. So, I mean, wood is still a natural product. You're not gonna get 100% consistent everywhere, but uh, definitely we found that if you use oak on the jam extension, oak on the casing, if it's an oak uh, application, it turns out really nice as you can see. Same thing with this window here. Um, tilts in the same as the white one. These grids here, a lot of people will go with this style of grid if they're going with a wood interior window because you can stain this grid to match the interior of the window. The downfall to the grid between the glass is, you know, it's not stainable. So um, each of them have their pros and cons. A lot of times people don't like um, taking these in and out. Um, the Anderson grids are in there really good. Really good. They're kind of designed so kids don't come up and pull on them if you have them on both sashes. So um, that's that's going to be your wood double hung. Same, and let's go around to the outside and show you the same idea as, as with the casement. The exterior finish trim can be clad in aluminum. Um, depending on what we're doing with your siding, you can do like a LP smart board trims, maybe something wider if there's room or if we're residing your home. Or if we're leaving the siding on, you just get a, a thin finished trim, but it gives, gives it a really nice look on the outside. So um, let's go take a look at the gliders.